Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure your own automated crypto trading bot strategy using the Crypto Hopper platform. Uh, before we get to that, if you're not familiar with uh, Crypto Hopper or you don't currently have a subscription, there'll be a link down below in the, in the description and you can join for free basically and get started with their free package. Now I actually have one of the Explorer, Adventure, and Hero subscriptions. My Hero subscription I have deployed strictly for market making uh, automated trading bots. Uh, the Adventure I am currently configuring and setting up a arbitrage trading bot. So you might wanna click subscribe now to check out that video when it is uploaded to YouTube. And my Explorer subscription is used for my overall crypto trading bot that we'll be configuring today based on a strategy within the platform. And so let's get to it. So from the dashboard, you have an option to configure your automated trading bot from this configure tab down here at the bottom left. And you would just click on base config and that will take you to the configuration page and under strategy, Typically, if you're just going with the basics, you will have the multiple TA factors selected and you can configure that under the advanced settings. And if you scroll down, you can see the different indicators you can use. You'll need to select your candle size as well. And you could select RSI, Bollinger Band. And what that will basically do is it will trigger buy signals based on these parameters of RSI and Bollinger Band. So for instance, if the currency you're trading becomes oversold of a threshold of 20, meaning it has moved through the oversold threshold of 20, it will place a buy order assuming it has also broken the Bollinger Band uh, lower level of two. And that is your basic configuration. Now, now in a bull market like we saw back in 2017-ish, uh, this strategy was all you actually needed to deploy. But times have changed and you need a little more refinement on your actual strategy. In this case, you're almost catching a falling knife because the price is actually crashing as it breaks through the oversold level and it can just keep going and it's gonna buy at the 20. Well, what if it goes to 15 or 10 oversold? You're taking a pretty big loss. So to battle that, you can actually configure a strategy that will send buy triggers as this price recovers from being oversold. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So we're gonna to jump to the strategy tab and that's over here on the left toolbar under strategies. So I'm gonna select strategies and for instance, that same strategy of RSI, Bollinger Band and I call it across because I'm now looking for it rather than crossing down to be recovering and crossing back up. I want that price action to be moving upwards, not down. And so what I've done is I've selected the indicators of RSI with region crossover and Bollinger Bands. And that region crossover is the difference here. And if I click on the edit button, you'll see same settings for the most part, 15, I've selected the signal to be necessary, the time frame. Now I selected my oversold threshold as 30, as in today's market, I'm more comfortable when the price action has moved up above and is actually having some positive momentum in the upwards direction. And the real game changer for this strategy is signal on region. And in this case, I have it set to in. And what that will do is as the price action moves back above the oversold region of 30, that is when the signal will be sent to place the buy. And that really is the difference of being able to fine tune your own strategy rather than the real default settings that are offered in the base config. You can actually get real creative with different indicators uh, or even ca candle patterns and add them to your strategy to actually trade. And then you can test 
the basic strategy that you just set up. And if you're even more advanced and you're able to write code, you can actually write the code for your strategy. And you can see this is the code for the current strategy that I have set up. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and show you how you can configure your own strategy. So you would start from the strategy tab over here on the left, click new strategy. You'll want to name the strategy. In this case, I'm just going to call it test. And then you want to select, let's say a candle pattern. Let's see if I can find three white soldiers. All right, so there's the candle pattern for three advancing white soldiers. And we'll set the chart period to, let's say, one hour. And necessary to buy. And what this candle pattern basically means is there'll be three can't bullish candles in a row. And so that's what I'm looking for. So close. And then I want to add an indicator. And in this case, we'll do a moving average. And we'll do short period of nine long period of 26 and again set it to the one hour necessary to buy and what this would basically do is look for that nine period to be moving upwards along with those candles again bullish so all you have to do is save and now you have a strategy configured if you go back to your strategy area and we now have the strategy under test configured and ready to go. And so to deploy that, then you would go over to your config down here in the left hand corner, base config. And under the strategy tab, you'll change your actual strategy to, in this case, we created test to test. And now it will trigger buys based on that strategy we just configured. And then you would click save. Yes, configure, go back to the dashboard and you would enable your hopper and it will start looking for triggers based on what you had configured under your strategy. And that pretty much wraps it up. Just a quick video to show you how to create your own strategies using indicators, cat candle patterns, what have you. So if you like the video, do me a favor, spike a like. Be sure to subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more strategy type videos on different trading bots and also any comments down below. I try to read them all. And remember, never send your money into battle without first doing recon. See you in the next video.